Terrible, terrible. I would like to talk a little bit about strategies and, and rhetoric for, for outreach. I'm probably the only person in the room, or one of the only people in the room, who really cares much about the, the prospects of the Republican Party, but as an example of that, where I come from in West Texas, my own town is about 40 percent Hispanic and uh, something like 77 or 78 percent Republican. So they've done a reasonably good job there of uh, recruiting people for their cause. They've nor normally seen as part of their coalition. I was talking to some folks about that there. And the answer I got was, how, how are you successful at doing this? How are you successful at reaching out to the Mexican-American community here in West Texas? And so we didn't actually do that. Uh, at a certain point, you know, looking for Hispanic small business owners in a place that's almost half Hispanic becomes just looking for small business owners and talking to people on those grounds, talking to them about the particular things that they do that they're interested in and their own uh, areas in life. And this seems to be working, at least you know, on a local level, for them. So what should we, as people who are trying to bring people into a certain view of the world, who are trying to, if not get them to vote for a certain candidate, to see the world in a certain way, to understand the world in a certain way, how should we go about making that argument? I'm going to try to field this one first because that's basically what my entire activist career is built around. Uh, you have to find ways to relate these ideas to these people. I mean, that's, well, I've literally built my whole activist career around how to relate libertarianism to Muslims from, a, from the perspective of their own faith. You know, most people don't realize that there, there are five natural rights that are, that are protected by Islamic legal theory. Most people don't realize that. Guess what? Neither do Muslims. If I, if I asked everybody in this room what the Maqasid al-Sharia was, you'd all give me the same exact answer as ha at least two-thirds of the people in the mosque that I go to. Because they don't know this information themselves. So I went out and put the effort and the study in to, to finding these ways to relate our message to them. So that they can understand our message from, a, from their own viewpoint. We have to find a way to relate it to them. Make it important to them. Right now it's important to us, but we have to find a way to word it, to reach out to them that makes it as important to them as it is to us. You have to find something within our philosophy that appeals to them and to them directly. Rather than, you know, like we were just saying, trying to find ways to reach out to people as groups, find ways to reach out to that person, that person as an individual. Because the work that I've done, I've, I've not been able to reach pe every person with the exact same message. Some people, you got to tell them, you know, the Maqasid Act encourages natural rights. But the other guy, you got to tell him, well, the Prophet said that those who collect taxes go to hell. You know, like you've got to find a way for which issue, which, which subject it is that they're connected to, and then reach out to them on that specifically. Work on growing their understanding of the philosophy after that, but find the one issue that's important to them and bring that to them in a way they can relate to directly. Well, I think libertarian ideas are the same in North America, in South America, in Africa, Asia, Europe. They are the same, the ideas of uh, liberty and so on and so forth. Uh, but it is true, obviously, that different communities, because they have different backgrounds, might be approached in different ways. So I, I understand that. Um, I would say that maybe about half of the Hispanic or Latino community in the USA uh, are immigrants of one or two generations, and the other half have been in the USA for a long, long time, like those people in West Texas. So that is also a big difference. Uh, they don't relate that much to to uh, the part of the world where their parents or ancestors came from. Um, nonetheless, talking about uh, about the ideas of uh, liberty, uh, I think uh, most people realize that there is a lot more liberty in the USA, if under threat, uh, than in, in most of the of Latin America. So uh, people can uh, make a connection that why are they here in the USA? Because there are many more opportunities. There is more liberty. There is the opportunity to trade and to, co and to have commerce. I think this is fundamental. This improves uh, living standards. So I would try to sell those ideas maybe uh, on their own lives. Why are they here? Um, what do they expect the future to be like? Um, 